Good morning, Maple Ridge CRC Church family. Just want to share a few thoughts. The question I want to ask is one I've been asking myself. What, what are you, what are you doing? The question I've been asking myself is what, what am I doing? A few days ago, I was challenged by something I, I watched online. It was a brief meditation on Psalm 46, a, a psalm I'm going to be sharing uh, with us on this weekend service. Near the end of that short video was this simple invitation, um, reflecting on that, the way that psalm ends, where it's this line that's familiar maybe to some of us, be still and know that I'm God. And the invitation was this, it's an invitation that's been haunting me, don't waste this time. It's got me thinking uh, quite a bit, actually, what, what am I doing with this time? And what would it mean to, to not waste it? I'm not talking about how productive we might be how, or how many loaves of bread we might try to bake. No, this, this cuts deeper than all of that. We all find ourselves in this unprecedented time and where, where so much has been disrupted, so much has changed. And, and surely for most of us, this is translated into having more time. Granted, most of that time likely in our homes. But what are you doing with this time? How might you invest this time wisely? It's a question I've been pondering. I hear stories of old friendships that have been rekindled during this time. People who are rediscovering each other over social media, and texting or FaceTiming or Zooming. And like many of you, I've been reacquainted with the phone, <laughs> an old technology, and I continually enjoy hearing the voices of people I haven't seen for some time now. I find myself walking more, staying at home, of course, way more, having more time on my hands, and, and dare I even say experiencing boredom more than I have in recent memory. It was so easy in those early weeks of all of this to distract myself with one news story after another, stories about flattening curves and stories from the front line, stories about from different regions of the world and how they're coping with all that's going on. And, and all of a sudden, I found myself attached to my phone in, in ways that I hadn't been before all this happened. Like, an, like a child or, <laughs> let's be honest, an adult as well, who overdoes it on Halloween candy and starts to feel a bit sick inside. I'm starting to put my phone down more. I need a break. I don't need more stories. But what now? What do I do now? There are more than enough opportunities online to consume and consume and consume content. We can all zoom our days away or catch up on the latest season of our favorite shows, or, or discover sh new shows and, and binge watch those. Maybe we all get exposed during this time. Our go-to distractions are coming to light in ways that, that may be making us uncomfortable. How are we going to invest our time? How, how did we invest our time before all this happened? What's changed? In our family, we went from maybe having two meals a week together because of just busy schedules and young adults running around with school and responsibilities, and now we find ourselves, for most meals, around the table together. And we're having to relearn being together so much and trying to become more intentional with the time that we have together. Uh, let me put the emphasis on the word trying. <laughs> we have not arrived. We've not got it figured out. So I'm not here to prescribe anything. I don't expect a book list, a podcast, or video playlist from me. Only to ask the questions. The questions I continue to ponder. What are you doing with this time? Or, or better yet, what might God be wanting to do? What might God be wanting to do with you? Or in you? as you navigate through this time. You know, one day this is all going to be over. I don't know when, but it will. Will we look back and feel like we squandered a rare opportunity that came our way to slow down the pace of our lives and to attend to the things that matter the most to us? 
Or will we look back and, and discover that through this time, God was up to something. God was doing something in us and with us that we could have never imagined. Will we see that our relationships became stronger as we just spent more time together? Will we see that our character grew? Will we become more wise? Will we grow in the fruit of the Spirit and look back and see that growth of love and joy and peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control? Will we find that we became stronger than we were before all this began? My encouragement to you is don't waste this time. And, and join me in asking God what in the world that would look like for you. It's going to look different for each one of us. But ask the question and ask God the question. And, and let me close with this blessing from Hebrews 13. May the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, may he equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, and I'll see you again on Friday.